about the time. Oh He's going to get his arm broken here. Oh, that is deep. Oh Felipe Fogelin trying to go for broke by breaking the arm. The time is expired. Wow. Kyle Griffin on his way to the finals. His arm cannot be feeling good right now, guys. Wow. Now, since the sub only game is pretty much morphing into EBI rules, uh, now it's part of the daily curriculum working on EBI overtime rounds, which is basically just working on your rear naked chokes and your arm bars defensively and offensively. Oh, he shifted oh. that angle nicely. That was just a it's instinctive. Oh, that is behind no, his back. Got it. He's not out yet. Rolling. It's nice. You see what I'm talking about? Able that to escape. And it's just turning those spots into elaborate systems when you spend so much time, when you make that the sport, that's, that's the sport. The sport is you're on the back in overtime and you, you know, you're starting from there. You've got to be really good there and really good at defending. ...against one of the high level uh, jiu-jitsu was Gio Martinez. And then after that, I competed combat jiu-jitsu two times, which was one in 2019 and now in 2020. Um, I had a lot of fun with that tournament. I learned a lot, especially in the overtime against Spencer Mummey. That's still any man's, any man's match right now. Hopefully, I'll use that experience to the next tournament coming up. Ooh, he's flat, 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 flat. Yeah, Great tap, oh, nicely it. done. Pablo Alfonso. I learned how to be patient instead of just being quick and trying to escape. You know, uh, you just gotta be smart and have a good strategy to beat the time and try to escape. <laughs> Some real training right here on Warrior Camp. The quarantine didn't affect me that much. I have a small group. I have a lot of young guys that are keeping me young. I'm 38 right now, and I have a lot of youngsters under me. I have, like, have Daniel Swain, which is fighting a contender series next month. Um, you know, I have a lot of good guys under me, and you know, I have purple belts, brown belts, black belts, and especially I'm coaching and training at the same time, it's a blessing for me. And, and they're keeping me in shape. And I'm excited for the next tournament coming up. <laughs> We're just doing you know, traditional CJJ rules and now it's EBI rules in, in the overtime format. I guess it really depends on how well prepared you were for the rule set coming in. My guess is this, it's not gonna be a big deal for these guys because they've been preparing to do it this way. I've been training OT position since I was competing EBI. I had to learn a lot of position and master those positions because when you get overtime, you gotta end up in the spider web or um, back tape. And you know, I, I've been practicing a couple of years with that and I think in this OT coming up, I think I'm gonna be a, a, a threat for that division. Great tap, nicely done. Pablo Alfonso did the submission.